Allah. We're not less knowledgeable in Islam because we've seeked that we've gone personally with the intentions to seek knowledge. What would you want to say to millions of Muslim women watching you all around the world? The Muslim women here, we a lot of us are converts. We take Islam very, very seriously. We're not less knowledgeable in Islam because we've seeked that we've gone personally with the intentions to seek knowledge. Um, we weren't born to it, therefore we had to we had to seek it ourselves and become educated very you know in depth to be able to you know have a knowledge of what it is that we love so much. We can't say we love this, you know. Oh, I love Islam so much, but we don't know anything about it. You know, it's our mission and duty as Muslims to continuously seek education. Um, so we're not. We're not um, without knowledge about what it is that we're doing. We're extremely knowledgeable. We may not all speak Arabic, but we know what it is that we're following. So that we see it here in the masjid a lot of times. The Pakistani sisters will stay with the Pakistani sisters. The Arab sisters will stay with the Arab sisters. The convert sisters are with the convert sisters. We have Arabs in our group in Piedad. We have Arab sisters. We have Palestinian sisters. We have Indian sisters. We kind of invite, even though it's geared towards us for support, we also know that we can benefit from the knowledge of the other sisters. So we all try to, we try to be a little community within the community, but not apart from the community. So what you're saying is that even if you're born in Islam, you still got to go out and find it. Who are we that we're not going to be tested? We're creatures of Allah and we're here to serve Him. So in that servitude, we have to do whatever is required by um, what He gives in the Quran and by the way that the Prophet Muhammad lived and we have to go out in regards to that. We have to do. It doesn't just come because we say that we are. I'm just praying for all of us actually. Those that are Muslim, those that are not. Coming back to the celebration, now is the time to set the wedding stage. Fix the food tables. Esperanza and Habib's love story is something like love on the first click. You know like the internet click? Researching my last name, trying to find out my history, and I realized that it turned out to be a city uh, in Morocco. So I went on MySpace and I made some friends all over Morocco, and uh, he happened to be one of them. And I found his background to be really interesting, so I asked him, Is this your house or is this a restaurant? And he responded, This is a restaurant in um, another city, it's Sawira. So we just started talking from there, and um, what, next thing you know, I'm flying to Morocco. Yeah. Habib told me it was a little different for him getting married like this in a mosque, because in Morocco, people usually get married in their homes, but he's still loving it. Of course, he's the groom. Be quiet, the bride is coming. Thank you. And there's the bride. Esperanza's family and friends are all here. <laughs> After a long cross commute between Morocco and America, finally the couple's moment is here. Waiting for the Imam to pronounce them husband and wife. That's what they're waiting for. And here it comes. And here's the build up to the wedding vows. Hi. Hi. And then your name? Esperanza Arcella. You myself? 
Myself. To you? To you. Oh, Marriage. Marriage. I am happy. Accept. Accept. To marry you. To marry you. According. According. To the Quran. To the Quran. And the Sunnah. Sunnah. Of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Faithful and true, seasons change to start anew, coloring memories along life's trail. May faith and hope, presence prevail. We walk the path of life. One thing is for sure, whatever that I've learned from these American Muslim women of Tampa will stay with me for the rest of my life. But I do hope that you were able to see a lot more than I could. from the midst of this international celebration. For Muslims America, I'm Imran Siddiqui.